and when you just like let that sit there for a while, those you know, it's, it's kind of fascinating. They'll they'll start to like uh, self destruct. <laughs> What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle and I want to go over today how to minimally invest over text message. I was texting with one of my clients recently for the first time and he noticed some very peculiar things, okay, some very interesting things about how I was texting that are second nature to me that I've picked up along the way, okay, that are actually very critical and instrumental to text game. Before we continue, please subscribe if you have not already. Okay, new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern time. If you happen to be watching this or you're new to the channel um, and you're not a subscriber, lots of amazing value-packed videos every day. Okay, so make sure you get on board with that. Like and share if you found value. First off, I don't use capitalization. Okay, that's number one. I start my sentences with lowercase letters. After a period, I continue with lowercase letters. That shows laziness. It also shows that I don't give a fuck. If you've ever texted with a super hot chick, okay, like a girl that's above a nine, She's doing lots of different things, okay? And I'm gonna describe how I'm doing those things. It's, it's very, very, very similar. So no capitalization, uh, very short sentences. You don't wanna write these fucking long, multi-sentence paragraphs. Okay, I also use abbreviations, okay? And I'm in Brazil right now, so I'm typing in, in Portuguese, and I'm using abbreviations Portuguese, but that won't make sense to you guys. So when I was in the States, I was saying, instead of Y-O-U, the word U, I type the letter U. Instead of saying tomorrow, I type T-M-R-W. Instead of saying tonight, you can write T-N. Okay, and I'm not gonna go through the exhaustive list, but for instance, if you're saying how are you, you can type how space letter R space letter U. Okay, the other big point that I just remembered with that example, how are you, I don't write punctuation like a question mark. <clears throat> I will show an exclamation point for enthusiasm, okay, in the right spots. I don't put question marks at the end of questions, okay? You can write a question as if it was a statement. Imagine some like multi-sentence thing, okay, with a question mark, with capitalization and no abbreviations versus like a five word or four word statement, no capitalization, abbreviations, and no punctuation. He even told me, this client told me that he got the feeling that I was just like busy and that, you know, and that this, you know, just kind of like my value is higher or whatever. And it, you're not, you don't always need to play games, but this is just how I've conditioned myself to text. The other big component is ignoring, okay? Now, I don't play a whole ton of games with an ignoring. Basically, if you have a lot of shit going on in your life, you're gonna be ignoring by default anyways. Okay, so that's, that's kind of the goal is you wanna be, busy enough with other shit, okay, preferably with girls, I'm usually either banging a girl or on a date with a girl or texting with a girl, whatever, but very often I don't have time to text the girls back, okay, or I don't see it for a while. It drives them crazy if you, just like it drives you crazy when a hot girl does this to you or any girl does this to you, it drives them crazy when they send you a uh, text, especially when they ask a question or something or they show you a bunch of affection and you don't reply, okay, and then they have to double text you or they have to like kind of get very needy and then the power is in your favor. So kind of one big guideline is if the girl's getting especially or particularly needy, she's just like outpouring, I love you, I miss you, this and that. Okay, that's another thing that I try not to do. You don't wanna be, I learned that from my natural uncle. You don't wanna be gushing feelings over text. Okay, you can miss the girl, you can love the girl, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera but you don't want to always be, I miss you so much, I love you so much. Okay, like all my chicks in Brazil do that, all right? I have my top six are all saying I love you to me. A lot of them are always writing like, com sodajis, com sodajis, which means I miss you. Even, even in person, they're doing that shit. Like I had um, a rotation go over last night that I've canceled on like six times in a row. That's another thing you can do is cancel. Okay, I'm not just canceling like, oh, like I would love to bang this girl tonight, but I'm gonna put in some minimum cancellations. No. If you're running a big rotation, lots of new dates, etc., and you have other shit going on, okay? Like I'm running a business, I have martial arts, etc., time with my friends. If you have a lot of shit going on, it's going to be natural to cancel, okay? So that there's like four or five girls on a daily basis that I'm turning down not to come over or that I'm canceling plans with, okay? Because I'll double, triple, even quadruple stack time slots, and then, you know, girls will be girls, 
and shit comes up and a couple of them drop off and I still have two others. Okay, and then I just cancel on the ones that I don't want at that time. But this girl that I'd cancel on six different times when we're in person, she was saying I love you like every fucking 30 seconds or every like one or two minutes. And why? It's like, here's this guy that like she keeps getting excited to see that just blows her off. And a lot of these girls have like a big long list of dudes after them, okay? And what are those dudes doing? They're instantly replying to texts. When I'm setting logistics, like when I'm going for like that first meetup, I instant reply. Like say I move a girl off Tinder, move her to text. I immediately fire, boom, 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 my sequence. Okay, and I'm immediately trying to get them to meet up. And I'm aggressive with trying to set that date. If they're ignoring, I'm, I'm messaging them, calling them out. I don't mind double and triple texting. I don't find that needy, okay? I'm aggressively trying to work the lead before it goes cold and make something happen with it. That's far different from one star on rotation. I'm not fucking blowing up their phone all the time. I'm not writing these long paragraphs. I'm not using capitalization. I'm not using whole words wherever I can. And if they're getting especially needy, if they're like, oh my God, I miss you so much, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I'll let that text sit on purpose for a little bit. And they're like, because they've really like put themselves out there and they just need like a little bit of like, I miss you too, or like some kind of emoji just to like restore balance internally with what they just put out in terms of, you know, this emotional outpouring. And when you just like let that sit there for a while, they'll, you'll, it's kind of fascinating. They'll, they'll start to like uh, self-destruct. <laughs> okay, this, this sounds, a lot of this sounds like, unnecessary or manip manipulative or whatever, but the point is you, you just don't want to be too available. Mystery has, I have a whole video, I'll link it at the end. Mystery has um, this whole theory called cat string theory, where you dangle a string in front of a cat and it will jump up and do tricks and do everything it can to get the string, but if you give it the ball of yarn, it doesn't want it. Okay, and, it, and it's the same thing. Mystery talks about how you kind of want to be like dangling a carrot in front of them. If you give them the whole fucking ball of yarn or you give them the carrot, the party's over. Okay, it's, they're just, they're just, they'll get bored. You have to kind of play this. This is, this is one of the things to keep them like really in love with you. Okay, you act somewhat aloof, sending mixed signals. A lot, I do a lot of this automatically now. Okay, but I'm sending mixed signals, right? Like when I'm with them, I'm like, yeah, like this is awesome, blah blah blah. But when we're apart, like I might be like a little distant sometimes. I might not always reply to texts. I'm not just gushing affection. I'm sending these short, small texts, etc. And if they do anything that you don't like, this is another important thing. If they do anything you don't like, you need to call that out. Okay, I don't just let some kind of disrespect or bullshit slide over text. I had an issue with one of my top three girls um, last week. Okay, this is a girl that's gonna be in Brazilian Playboy, blonde, fake tits, tattoos, piercings. Etc. Super hot chick, tantric massage experience, and she sent like an eye rolling face over a text at me. Okay, and I was like, I don't like when a girl sends shit like that. I think it's disrespectful. And she's like, I can send that if I want to, and send it again. I was like, wow. I was like, that's fucking rude, right? And then she like tried to justify it and this and that and all this stuff. And I didn't message her back for like four days. And she starts like blowing up the phone, calling a whole bunch, all this stuff. I'm like, listen. I think you're cool, I have fun with you, et cetera. But I told you don't fucking write those to me anymore. And you just, and you continue to do it. I was like, I don't know if I wanna hang out with you. Like, oh, I won't do that stuff again, like I'm so sorry. And then in person, they're kissing your ass again. No matter how hot the girl, take the fucking vagina away, keep the boundary rules solid, okay? <laughs> My uncle said he used to tell this joke with this other advanced friend of his, that if they didn't have a vagina, a lot of them would have bounties on their head meaning a lot of the shit they pull is extremely out of control and guys just put up with it and tolerate it because they have to go on a pedestal. They're like, well, she's a hot chick. I can't stand up for myself or I can't correct her in this situation because she's a hot chick. Who gives a fuck? To sum up, you want to just be doing like kind of low investment type things, okay? But every now and then you guys can bond and shit like that over text if she's like, you know, I never, I never felt this way about someone. Like you're one of the most amazing people I've ever met. Oh, I feel that way too. That's a, that's a time when I'll like reciprocate. I'm not just gonna be like, oh, really? Cool. Okay, it's okay to, to bond with them and, and show your emotions, be vulnerable and stuff like that. But you also have to carry a big stick, so to speak. Meaning, you could take her or leave her, for real, not an act. Um, she's not that big of a deal to you, ultimately. For real, not an act. Okay, you have plenty of other chicks, okay? or plenty of other things to do. You don't wanna rub it in her face that you're a big player. I say that I establish with all of them that I have a lot of work to do and I'm very busy with work all the time, okay? And that's just how it is. You just, you just continue 
from there, okay? She wants this like strong presence that's continually dangling, dangling this ball of yarn, okay? When you don't use capitalization and use abbreviations and short sentences and stuff like this, and no question marks, you're showing, you're, you're basically being, it's like the high value weight to text. So without overcomplicating it, take those small lessons, put them into use. If you found value in this video, please subscribe below. Make sure you press the notification bell, new videos every day, 2 p.m. Eastern time. We have a uh, good roster of interviewers coming up, okay, other advanced guys in the community that I'm gonna bring on the channel. I wanna encourage you guys to check out the free training video at the end of this, okay, it's, it's titled Free Training. It's 30 minutes, it shows my whole background, it's very, very cool, and it gives you an opportunity, okay, we're doing free phone calls, either me or someone from my team will reach out. We can go over where you're at in game and give you a solid game plan, okay, and, we can, and of course, we're gonna tell you how we can help you, but it's a free, no obligation phone call. Um, so watch that free training, and also check out that other video I referenced. Okay, that will be at the end. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'm John Anthony. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.